Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghostwriter. The facts. First, Lenny and Alex are totally psyched about the Star Jam, Hurston Middle School's talent show. They're working hard to help plan it, but some bad stuff is going down. Where have you been? I got mugged. Some guys took my money. Their friend Kiambu got mugged, and lots of other kids in the neighborhood are getting beaten up. Man, this stuff's been going down more and more at night around here. It's crazy. It's really scary, too. And something else. A kid named Walter is mad because Lenny is running the Star Jam committee, and he's trying to mess things up. Now we've got our rehearsal all organized. Happy more. And Jamal's got his own problems. He's got a crush on Jasmine, but he's too shy to ask her out. Hi, Jamal. Uh, hi, Jasmine. Meanwhile, Rob's writing an important article for the school newspaper. Guys, this is Rob Baker. He's doing an article on the track team for the school newspaper. If he's got any questions, help him out. So what's it feel like to explode down the track? The only real way to feel it is to do it. So, Rob gives track a try, and he gets to be pretty good friends with one of the guys on the team, Victor. It's a cool chain. My initials. V, for Victor, and T, for Taurus. Hey! Victor's having some trouble with another guy on the team, Tony Boyd. And when Rob and Victor are walking home, they run into Victor's old gang. The Thunderheads. Why you be putting so much distance between us, man? I've been busy. Whoa. Get a pencil in your casebook out and get ready, because there's some strange stuff happening, and some of it's at first. Oh, man. Who is doing this to our school? We've got to find out what's going down. All right, kids, all right. All right, everybody, everyone just calm down. Now, I know how upsetting this is. We're all upset. We'll talk about it later in assembly. When was it done? Last night. And there's no other vandalism in the building that we know of. Why do this? What's the point? It is hard to understand. Maybe it's a warning. What kind of warning? I thought our school was safe. It is, Kiambu, believe me. Not from gangs like the Thunderheads. And the look. It's the symbol. I mean, it's got to be one of them. Not necessarily. That's right. Anyone could have made that mark. Now, everybody, please go on to your classes. Don't touch anything. The police will be here soon. <laughs> I'm writing this graffiti stuff down. It's like the violence is moving into Hurston. We can't just sit around and let people get hurt like Kiambu was. We've got to meet in my place right after school. I think we've got another case. One I wish we didn't have. Ghostwriter, I know what's happening. I wonder if it really is the Thunderheads. Cancel the Star Jam. But Miss Kelly... I said it was a possibility. It's not definite. Now, I know how much the Star Jam means to the school, but the parents are worried about this vandalism. Some of them feel that having the talent show now would invite trouble because it's at night and there'll be lots of kids. But we're not the ones trashing the school. Oh, I know, Alex. I'm going to meet with the parents this afternoon to talk this over. And I'll make my decision about the Star Jam tomorrow, okay? We've got to figure out who trashed our school. What clues do we have? Bust up Hurston, and that's the symbol for the Thunderheads gang. Which anybody could have written down. Well, Victor Torres used to be a Thunderhead, but he quit. Now the rest of the gang is real mad at him. You think they're trying to mess him up at his new school? Maybe. Okay, the Thunderheads go on the suspects list. Who else? Walter Haynes. He used to be on the Star Jump Committee, but he quit a couple of days ago. Yeah, he's mad at me because I'm the director instead of him. And the Star Jump posters were ripped down. Maybe he's trying to get back at us. Anyone else? Look! Down with by 
bust up. Wait a minute. The graffiti said bust up Hurston. Maybe this was written by whoever trashed the school. Wait, there's more. The mighty residue dirt head stuff. The mighty residue? It looks like a question, but it doesn't make sense. Dur head. That could be Thunderhead. Mm. Here comes some more. What would Victor Tor write son? Victor Torres? There's more. Hurston no, Hurston yes. That's it. Let's see what we've got. Hey, you were right, Jamal. Thun and Durr make thunder. And that's Victor Tor Rez. I think the pieces fit together like a puzzle. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. What would the mighty Victor Torres do? Write Thunderhead stuff. Then the other two pieces would be... Down with Hurston, no. Bust up Hurston, yes. Bust up Hurston? That's what was squalled on our school wall. But what's this? I know. He said no to this sentence and yes to this one. I bet he was trying to decide what to write on our school wall. But who is he? Well, it says, what would the mighty Victor Torres do? Does that mean that the kid who trashed our school was Victor Torres? No. I don't know. His name is on it. And he used to be one of the Thunderheads. That doesn't prove anything. Besides, why would he do it? We all know Rob, but we should still put him down. Yeah. Thunderheads, Walter Haynes, and Victor Torres. I'm going to see Victor right now. I'll prove to you he's innocent. Baker. Is Victor home? Who? Victor. No, who are you? Rob Baker. Uh, I'm a friend of Victor's. Hold on a minute. It is you. I thought my sister was bugging. What are you doing here? Well, you didn't come to school or track practice today. So I just stopped by to see how you were. <laughs> you just stopped by, huh? Tan loco. Uh, can I come in? Um, sure. <sighs> um, this is my brother and sister, Michael and Stacy. Say hi to Rob. Hi. And that's, that's my brother, Quincy. Yo, Quince! This is Rob, man. Um, he goes to Hurston with me. Hi. And that baby in the bedroom with the powerful lungs is my niece. My sister Lord is this kid. My, my mom's at work. Straight? Yeah, got it. Have a seat. Oh, thanks. Um, you, you want something to drink? 
Water? Soda? No, thanks. So, uh, what happened to you today? I just, I just didn't want to come to school. Why? Look, it's too hard sometimes, okay? I'm always messing up. You don't mess up in track? Someone trashed Hurston last night. Lockers ripped open, hallway walls spray painted, Star Jam posters torn up. The Thunderhead symbol was spray painted also. So? I was just wondering whether you knew anything about it. I'm not in the Thunderheads anymore, remember? Yeah, I know, but still, I... Is that what you came here for? Yo, what did mommy tell you about that altar? No. To pull that... me about the Thunderheads? No, that is... A... Mira, bajar el volumen a eso! Yo, quit yelling at your brother and sister, okay? Pero, man, yo estoy tratando de... Come on. What? Yeah, let's get out of here, man. Throw it afuera, Quince. Wow, Victor, this place is really cool. Yeah, I come here when I need some peace and quiet. I mean, like, it's too much noise sometimes. It's too much happening. You keep it all up in your face and stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like to be alone sometimes, too. Why'd you join the Thunderheads? To have some partners. Guys will look out for you. Watch your back. We hang together, talk about stuff. Cop a few things sometimes. Steal? Look, the streets are just totally whack sometimes. And the guys, well, you would have spam. You know what I'm saying? Like a second family. Yeah. I got sort of a second family, too. A gang? <laughs> no. But not that different, I guess. <sighs> look, I don't think the Thunderheads trashed the school. But Miguel warned you to look out at Hurston. It's personal between me and Miguel. He come after me, not the school. Why'd you quit the Thunderheads? My brother, Quincy, he used to be in this gang called the Risers. He got shot in the back in the gang war six months ago. Now he'll be in a wheelchair for life. I'm really sorry. He really scared me. My mom's, well, she got on me more and more about, about beating the Thunderheads, because a lot of them move on to the Risers when they get older. So I quit. I decided I wanted to go to a new school, get into track. Have you ever seen Carl Lewis run? Yeah, in the Olympics. Oh, man, he sure can eat up the track. I want to run like hell. Hey, I'm glad you're on our track team. Oh, yeah, because I can help you get your article together, right? <laughs> right. When you're by yourself, do you sometimes write stuff down in a notebook or something? Yeah, I keep a journal. Me too. But Mr. Ward said I should try it. He said if I write stuff down sometimes, it might help me get out some of my anger. Is it working? I don't know, but I've only written one thing in it so far. Can I read it to you? Sure. I mean, just to see what you think. It's, it's not that. It's for Quincy.
With my fist shoved so high in the sky With my mouth stretched so wide I could cry With my stomach wound up tight like a boat I scream no I scream no No more racing up and down all our streets No more dancing to the beat with your feet No more wrestling me around on the floor No more just up and walking straight to the door What was it for? Was it for? Was it for? Wow, Victor, that was really good. You think so? Yeah, you made me feel what you feel about your brother being hurt. You should keep writing. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Parents are worried about violence. Star Jam committee meeting. She said she figured out some way to convince Miss Kelly that the show must go on. Yeah? Well, I hope it works. Because that's where I plan to take Jasmine on our first date. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, those eyes. And she's had the tutorial program. Uh, but, and... uh, according to Rob, we haven't even talked to her yet. What are you talking about? He says you're, uh, chicken. Chicken? Moi? Listen, Alex, all I have to say is this. Yo, Jazz, uh, how's about going to the talent show with the coolest, baddest, most handsome guy in all of Hurston? <clears throat> She'll melt right there at my feet. Jamal! What? Even if I was an old stick of butter that had been left out of the refrigerator for three whole days, you would not be hot enough to melt me, Jamal Jenkins. Well, take your book, man. <laughs> My idea is that we use the Star Jam to talk about all the violence. I mean, we can get kids to come up with songs, dances, skits and stuff that say how they feel about it. And maybe even what should be done about it. Hey, I like that. Yeah, me too. I also think that we should let anybody be in the Star Jam, even if they don't go to Hurston. But isn't that against the rule? So let's change the rule. I mean, if we all come together, then maybe we can even stop the violence. So what do we do now? Convince Miss Kelly that our idea is great enough to let the show go on. How do we do that? How about a petition? Mm? Yeah, we'll write down what we want, and whoever agrees with us can sign it. I'll bet if Miss Kelly sees how many teachers and students are behind us, she'll be convinced. Great idea, Keanu. So, uh, what do we want to say? That we're worried about the violence in our neighborhood. And that canceling the Star Jam won't help. That sounds like a good way to start. Wait, we should start with Dear Miss Kelly first. And then, we the students. Students and teachers. What next? What well, Lenny said about canceling the Star Jam. But... Canceling the Star Jam won't help. Put in the part about opening it up to the whole community. What else should we say? Well, we 
want to change what the show's about, remember? So the theme shouldn't be, we're live with talent anymore. It should be, what? How about rhythms of the neighborhood? Be the block. Voices of the streets. They sound good, but they don't really say what the problem is. How about a community fight against violence? A community jam against violence. All right, let's get this down. That's it. Dear Ms. Kelly, we the students and teachers at Hurston are worried about violence in our community, but we think that canceling the Star Jam won't help. Instead, let's open the show to the whole community and call it a community jam against violence. I bet a lot of kids and teachers will agree with this. Let's do it up on the computer so we can make copies. Then let's get as many signatures as we can before the end of the day. All right, come on. tell you how impressed I am by the Star Jam Committee's petition. It shows great determination and responsibility, not to mention school spirit. Students and teachers' unbelievable support of this petition has convinced me not to cancel this year's Star Jam. And so, it's onward with the Community Jam Against Violence. Yo, he didn't seem so happy about this. Hey, Rob, have you seen my bag? Uh-uh. It was here when the assembly started, now it's gone. Sorry. So, Rob, what did you find out about Victor? Nah, eh, don't worry, he's cool. Uh, that's great, but how do you know? Uh, I just know, but... Found it. Oh, thanks, man. There's your thing. How's your spray painting, Thunderhead? Who said that? Nobody. Don't pay any attention to it. See a track practice? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, listen up. I've got the new order for the relays. Sam. You'll be running the first leg, followed by Mercer, Tony, and then Victor. What? But I run the anchor legs, coach. I'm the one who crosses the finish line. I can't run third. I can't end off to Victor. Yes, you can. But he missed practice yesterday. I know that, and I've talked to Victor about it. He wasn't even at Hurston two months ago. He was hanging out at the Thunderheads. So? You want to make hey, something hey, of okay. it? Hey, 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 break it up! Or neither one of you is going to be running. Now, I know that each one of you wants to run his own personal best, but this is about teamwork. Okay? I said okay? Yes. yes. All right. Now, the relay order stands. Hey, Lenny. How's the jam against violence coming? Great. We've got another big new poster in the cafetoria. <laughs> we'll make some more tomorrow. Hey, I'm working on my new opening speech. Now I know how to do it. Cool. Hey, Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's a Ghost 
Strider. We're on our way. Hurston's for wimps? More graffiti. Oh, man. 